All right, this is the first video I'm gonna do about this. Um, this is a 96 Impala Super Sport. Had for a couple months, been uh, taking it apart, kind of redoing it. Um, first thing I wanted to do was the sound system. So this is obviously the trunk, needs some cleanup, but this is all still under construction. First things first was take all the carpet out, get it all completely bare and Everything has teal mat throughout the entire inside of the trunk. You can see there's some right there by the hook for the spare tire. Uh, decided to hook up a sound system, which still got to clean up the wires. I have a Memphis 750 mono channel over there. And up there in the corner, I got a JBL DSP. 4086 I believe um, 8 channel uh, small amp with DSP software in it which I really wanted to EQ and cross over every channel um, that's a Stinger 5 farad cap and over there I got a Fosgate 2 channel which you'll see why in a minute um, the Memphis Mono is powering two JBL shallow mount tens. Um, I didn't want too too much bass, uh, just something that'll sound nice and clean. Um, I got this fuse box here that I've been putting together. Uh, that's going to basically uh, add wiring for. USB phone charger, some 12 volt outlets, um, sell it, some LED lights, and I wanted to go this route so I wouldn't stress out the uh, stock fuse boxes. Um, top left, that's a, a remote relay. So the top six where it says A, um, all those are fuse, fuses there that are completely constant whether the key is the ignition's turned on or off um, and the bottom one is going to be for switched or some of the USB chargers that's only going to activate when the ignition or the accessory is turned on um, so my main thing with this was I wanted a nice sound system and I did not want to lose my spare tire I wanted to keep it where it is well it's not in there right now but I wanted to have space for it and still have it there in the stock location and I wanted to maintain my trunk space it was hell <sighs> putting everything back tucked away in there um, but so far so good and the interior is also completely gutted the car is completely caked in pollen because it's Texas and we get a lot of pollen here. Um, no interior right now. Basically, all the inside, all kill mat, everything, everything. Um, and I'm getting ready for the second layer of sound deadener, which um, I forgot what this one's called, but it's this foam one. Works really, really well. Get this out of the way. I already did the doors. The doors also have that black sound deadener inside of them. Um, so that was one thing that I really wanted to do was sound deaden as much of the car as I could. The rear deck, I got all, all the speakers are all Infinity Kappa. I've um, been using Infinity Kappas for years and I just know how they sound. They sound really good, at least for me. Um, I cut out two holes right there for two five and a quarter uh, mid-bass speakers, which is what that Fosgate, which is right there, is running. Um, I wasn't getting enough power out of the small JBL amp to push those how I wanted, so I hooked that up. And those are just running completely just mid-bass. Um, around the 80 hertz frequency, I think, more or less. I gotta check the EQ. But it adds a really nice clean punch um, to the system. And I got Kappa 6x9s uh, six in there. 
Um, I did Kappa six and a halfs in the doors. And um, I got these kick panels for six and a half Kappa Perfect, uh, which sound really good. So um, I'm running, everything's all wired, everything's sounding good so far. I'll try to do post a sound test. Uh, I know it's a rat's nest of wires, but all that's going to be cleaned up. Um, that little JBL, um, honestly can't say enough about it for the price, especially with the DSP software. So right now, I am starting the layer of this black foam sound deadener to the back. And going to see how much I can get done tonight. Um... The another important thing was I wanted to keep the stock look, so I'm keeping the stock head unit, although it's really not going to be used much, if at all. Um, that JBL has extra inputs, which I'm using for this little Bluetooth um, receiver. Bluetooth it straight to this with my phone or whatever you want to use, and then using the line out to those RCAs down there, which is gonna go back straight to the amp. So I'm bypassing the head unit and all that old 90s circuitry, which would degrade the sound, but I still got a ways to go with hooking everything up, which is why I still gotta clean up all the wires. But yep, this is the first video and we'll see how it goes from there.